Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omen and today I will review the, well what would it be, the 6th studio album by the jazz rock band uh, Steely Den which is titled Asia. That's actually how you say it, it's pronounced Asia according to Wikipedia so there you go. Uh, yeah, like I said, 6th studio album by this band for Quest of a Pawn Hearts. Um, it's rated, you know, the 145th greatest album to Rolling Stone, but if you look of course at the rating initially in 1977, it's probably gonna be shit. I mean, Rolling Stone themselves gave it a 5 star rating, but the album guide gave it three and a half. so... The fuck Rolling Stone. I mean, it's on your albums list, but your album guide gave it a three and a half. but Rolling Stone themselves thinks it's a 5 star record. Go figure with their fucking logic, I never get them, but you know, it's a great album, I do agree with the 5 star rating, but 3.5 really, you know, I'm not a huge jazz fan, but even I can't deny Steely Dan's uh, quality level, so you know, even I can't deny that, although I'm not the, not the biggest fan of that, you know, of, of jazz for that matter, I don't hate it, I just never really had a sensation with it to be honest. I like albums that are pretty straightforward, you know, are progressive in some place, alternative maybe. Kind of a heavy edge in a way, very pleasant to listen to while still maintaining the crunch, I would say. And, you know, I love uh, concept albums, you know, that's why I ate those things up. Oh, that's, that's Dutch. That's why I ate those things up, because, you know, it's a clear beginning and end, so that's why I love those albums, and you know, they're pretty interesting. Not to say that this album isn't interesting, but let's just, just get into the track listing before, you know, I ramble on. I already do, so there you go. Uh, the first track is Black Cow, which, which is a very odd kind of title track, but this kind of just shows off the quality level of Steely Dan. Great production behind the song, a lot of really memorable lyrics on there. Interesting title, you know, everything with black sounds pretty cool. Uh, although Cow is definitely one of the uncoolest things to do, but see that still pulls it off, still has a really great um, opening track right there, and uh, yeah, I just really like it. Then we got Asia, the title track, which is, um, yeah, I would say, well, it's my favorite track. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's pretty much my favorite track. It pretty much takes the pleasant and the very like inspiring, uh, pleasantly to listen to intro of Black Cow, and it just kind of ups it up, ups it up a notch to ten. I would say it turns to eleven. Uh, really great production again. Uh, you know, instrumentation on this whole album is fantastic, especially on the title track. Really epic track, um, you know, three seconds longer and it would have been an epic. There's definitely the epic of the album, it just sounds grand and it just sounds really huge and wants to be heard, it just sounds like that to me. Great saxophone on here as well, uh, production like I said, fantastic, lyrics are great, Asia title track, it's, it's just a magnificent uh, work of music really. It's an artwork. Now we got Deacon Blues, which is, I believe, the the biggest single of this album. Uh, yeah, I was a huge fan of this song too. It uh, it just sounded really cool to me. Um, yeah, I just really again love how uh, musically, how you know, structurally, melodically, this song is built. It just sounds very pleasant to the ears, while still being kind of proggy in a way, while still being jazzy, while you know. Still kind of maintaining consistency in, onto the record. It's not like like a wank session of jazz musicians wanking each other off on stage. It's not that bad, you know. Steely Dan was never that, you know, um, that random to be honest. They have a clear beginning and end, but sometimes it's you know jazz just ain't for me. It just is too much for me, I guess. I like clear beginnings and endings, and jazz is kind of a fuck you to that. So you know. It goes against my music rules, so, you know, my personal rules, so there you go. But Digging Blues was a nice way to end on side one. Side one is pretty much flawless, I love all the songs, so uh, definitely a recommendation. It's pretty much Asia again, but it's a little bit more commercial and it's a little bit uh, easier to swallow, I, I, I suppose, easier to digest, so there you go. But I prefer Asia because it's 
a bit more epic, but these two songs back to back are really fucking good, so I can't deny them either way. Then we get Pack, which was one of the singles, I believe, uh, starts off very presently. I would say it's an improvement to Blackout because it is a bit more uh, commercial, it's a bit shorter, it's a bit more straight to the point, you know, even though they're jazz musicians. But it's not one of my personal favorites, I think, because um, I just think it's a bit too easy in a way. It just kind of repeats what the first side did already, and yeah, it, just, it didn't really grasp me to be honest, but it's not a bad track. It, I just think it's, um, you know, it's kind of the middle of the road song for me, but it's still a good opening song. Then we got Home at Last, which is the, uh, which is actually very emotional track. A lot of really beautiful piano on this track. I love the piano sections on there. Um, I love the saxophones blending in with the piano. Really reminds me of, you know, let's say, The Stranger by Billy Joel. You know, another great record, I think. Um, really reminds me of that. Reminds me of uh, a lot of good shit. So there you go. Really pleasant to listen to. I really love to listen to this while you know i'm like sitting in a train or something with a hot glass of cocoa or you know i'm at home i'm at home like this sitting on the bank or bank sitting on the couch that's how you know couch are called in the netherlands there you go i'm confusing my languages right here um you know sitting on the couch uh having a tea or something a good book you know while it's raining outside put this fucking song on home at last because even the title is fucking perfect so this is probably my personal favorite song of the album, but I would say that Asia and maybe even Deacon Blues are better, but Home At Last is still really fucking good. Then we got I Got The News, which is definitely the oldest song on there. It has a lot of kind of weird time signatures and it has a lot of like really old structured jazz notes on there, which are really off-putting for me. Uh, it just sounds like it wants to be very avant-garde in a way and it just wants to sound differently which I appreciate, I appreciate the song going out of its way to sound unique and you know different and you know uh, it just sounds different than the rest of the album but I think that it really takes a bite out of the consistency of this record because so far all the songs were like really nice smooth, smooth jazz in a way really nice pleasant jazz rock tunes and I think that I got the news kind of distorts that sound and some people might like a little bit of a shake up in their consistent album but personally if you got a consistent thing going you know like ACDC don't fucking change and they did that it's not a bad thing you know some people probably would prefer it that way because it makes the album more diverse but for me it just kind of broke my flow with this album if, if you want to say it like that so yeah, overall not a huge fan of the song. I do appreciate it that they tried to change it up here, but it just kind of feels for me. So you know, that's my least favorite track right there. And then we got Josie, uh, Josie, Josie or something. Um, and I do like this uh, last song. It's definitely uh, one of the uh, you know, it's kind of like back again. Uh, it's a bit more odd. It just you know, it it does take the blueprint of I got the news and it just makes it better I suppose it's a bit more coherent and more pleasant in a way it just kind of recovers really fast and I would say that Josie is like the ultimate track on side two maybe or well personally home at last but Josie is probably the most diverse and the most tasteful song on side two um, you know that kind of changes up all the songs of side two so far and it just kind of makes one really grand song so this was a really uh, good song to close out the album with I did really like it it's one of my favorites, but I will say this, it will sound kind of weird, but this is my least favorite of the favorites, but it's still a favorite, I think, if that makes sense. So, uh, Josie is really interesting, takes a lot of old time signatures, but still, you know, has that uh, jazz, jazzy, melodic side of side one, while blending in the avant-garde kind of experimental side of side two, so, while still being commercial, so there you go. So Joshi is a very uh, diverse song and a very uh, odd but appropriate way to close out the album. So overall I did really like this album, I think the cover is pretty cool, kind of reminds me of... Um, how is that fucking album called again? From, uh, from fucking Depeche Mode, um, Violator. It, it reminds me of Violator, although I do... 
Uh, I will say this, I prefer the Alm cover of the Pesh Mode Violator, but I do actually prefer this Alm musically, so yeah, there you go. Uh, if, if fucking, if Steely then, you know, had this album and they would have the album cover of the patch mode, that would be fucking perfect. But I, st but I still really like this album, still like the cover, but the, the Violator album cover is just, you know, it's beautiful, it's fucking perfect. So there you go. Uh, it's a great album as well, check it out. So, I like this album, um, I really like it actually, Side 1 is flawless I would say, Side 2 is a bit dodgy I would say, um, I do really like the first two tracks, I'm not a huge fan of I Got The News and I do actually really like Josie, so the only flaw of the record I think is I Got The News and some personal flaws kind of bring it down for me, you know, if, if I think, um, if I have to rate it on like a quality level, on a quality level, I would probably rate it a 10 out of 10 if I was like a stone cold critic, like you know the the needle drop or something. I'll probably give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm not I'm not Anthony, so um, you know I I have fucking hair. I'm not a man, so there you go. Um, so on a personal taste and you know me not really digging, I got the news. I would I would personally give it a 9.6. But if I was a huge jazz fan, this would be right up there as one of my favorites. But you know, unfortunately, I'm not a big jazz fan. But even I can't deny this album. So there you go. 9.6 out of 10. Uh, still really high ratings. There you go. Um, let me know what you think about this album. Let me know what you think about CD Dan in the comments down below. Uh, I've been on like and subscribe to the channel for videos like this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.